hello hello queens i'm kenesha with currency queen budget i am a zero based cash stuffer on this channel we do all things budgets planning and lifestyle Hey guys so let's jump into this cash stuff i know y'all excited to see me back on here just counting some money y'all i know it is exciting for me to get back on this journey after being away for a couple of months i did a cash stuffing last week and then i think i i feel like i kind of fell off again but i am back on it and uh, let's get to it let me get my cash tray here All right, so let's get this money counted. I hope everyone is doing great. I am doing well. Drop down in the comment and let me know how your day is going. If you don't want to say how your day is going, just leave me a sunflower and I am okay with that. Um, So let's get this money counted. I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500, 510, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35, 535 dollars that we will be cash stuffing. Right, so we are going to start off first with our bills. And I need to revamp this because my bills has changed. And I did make one for my mortgage. And I am going to, we can take the credit card out for now. <laughs> Let's take that out. And let's put in all right. The mortgage. And I think we can take out the rent. Yep. We are going to take out the rent. That's so exciting. To take both of those out. And I think I want I'm gonna put this credit card one back to the back. Because I still use that credit card to pay for um like my gas. So if I need to just deposit some money, I can just throw it in there. I still pay like for gas and sometimes groceries because I've figured out I get points from Walmart for groceries using my Capital One. So I get a lot of rewards back for that. So that is what I'm going to use. That's what I'm using my credit cards for. So mortgage isn't getting anything. Carno is going to get 20 five dollars so we're going to put that in there so we're going to do let's straighten this up 20 and a five so for my insurance isn't getting anything cell phone is getting thing utilities and guys i am not a month ahead like i was before so i am kind of stuffing for the upcoming bills just in case you are wondering what's going on i am literally starting my budget all over like literally so i have 100 200 for utilities i put a lot of money into my home as far as when i purchased it and then i did not any big repairs but i did you know just 
put a little bit more money into some things that I wanted to get done. So for my subscriptions, I am going to do $20. And this will cover for my Netflix. And uh, I think that's the only subscription I really have is Netflix because I turned everything else off. Um, besides stuff that I use for business. And that is all that I'm going to stuff in my bills binder for today. And that is $245 in my bills. The next thing we're going to do is move over to my variable expenses. And I have to take my ID out because I always forget that. For some odd reason. I'm just going to put this in the back here because last time I took it out, I was riding around really thugging because I did not have my license with me, y'all. I'm just riding around town, riding around and getting it with no license in my purse. But let's get that together. Okay, so we're going to move on into groceries. So we're going to do 120. So I'm going to do 20. 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, and 20. So let's 20, 40, 60, 80. And I'm going to put this backwards. 90, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 120. And they gave me some little ugly raggedy bills. They are raggedy. How would I have left in here? Okay, so I have some ones left in there. And that will go towards my $1 savings challenges. I still have been doing um, the savings for that. So for my gas, I am going to do 100. So we're going to do 20, 40, 60. 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, and then 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So that's going to go in gas. And oh, I have some money left over. I have 15 left over, and I'm just going to add it in here. For right now and I would normally put that in my savings challenge money but I am not doing savings challenges right now because I am playing the catch-up game <laughs> so we're gonna leave that in there so we have 115 in gas and if I have anything left over um, next pay period I'm just gonna put it in their house so it has 20 I'm going to leave that in there and then I'm going to add another 20 Um, spending. Let me see if I have anything in here. I don't. So spending is going to get 10. And then for beauty, make sure I don't have anything. So beauty is going to get $30. That's a 20 and a 10. Eating out isn't getting anything. And I don't think I have anything in there. For medication, I am going to do two fives, which is ten dollars. And then for my receipts, I am going to take these out and put them to the side so I can scan them into Fetch. If you don't know what Fetch is, Fetch is an app that you can scan all of your receipts from any store. It does not matter which store. You purchase anything from long as you get a receipt you can scan that receipt into that app when you scan that receipt you will get points those points can accumulate and you can purchase gift cards to any store that you would like that supports the fetch app almost every store that I use is on that app you can redeem those points and get you a gift card uh, for the amount that you are allowed for the points that you have accumulated so that is basically free money to scan your receipts um i'm going to put my 
code across the screen here. You can go ahead and download the app or scan the QR code. But I hope you guys um, will take advantage of that. Like I said, it is free money and who doesn't love money? Oh, and I have, okay, so this is one of my gas receipts and I'm going to put over there and I have to deposit this into the bank because like I said, I do use my credit card to purchase my gas. But that is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's short and it is sweet. And we will soon be starting our savings challenges back very, very soon, guys. Um, I appreciate, I really appreciate you all for stopping by. I really appreciate you staying to the end of this video. If you have made it, I really, really appreciate you. If you don't mind, if you have not already, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and leave me a comment. But you guys know, until next video, I want you to hustle hard, budget hard, and pray harder. Until next time, queens, be blessed. Bye.